All right, guys, we're doing clocks by Coldplay. Do you remember this one from me about six years ago? <laughs> this was one of the first tutorials I did on YouTube. And, um, and you can check that out. Um, uh, look at my videos that I've uploaded. Now, the, the upload of the video is new, my old video. But I did it about six years ago, and you can tell because I look so young in the video. <laughs> my kids have made me old <laughs> in uh, just a few years, but uh, I'm redoing this one uh, because I'm, I'm competing with this guy on YouTube who's been copying my videos for the past year. He's copied about 45 of them, and, and I'm just getting tired of it. I have nothing against the guy personally, but uh, I've got to stick up for myself, so I'm, I'm just going to increase my output here. I'm going to reteach the song lessons that he's done. I'm not looking at his imitation of my whiteboard. I'm doing my own work, but uh, this is just my way of competing back and protecting uh, what I invented on YouTube in 2007, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, here's Clocks. Uh, and check out that old video of me. It's on th this channel. Um, and uh, just, just look at it. It's kind of funny. It's been a while ago. The, the camera quality is awful because we nobody had uh, the expensive digital cameras yet. But here we go. It's funny because I probably haven't played this in seven years <laughs> since I did the tutorial for it. Uh, and it's one of the first ones the, the guy copied off of me. Uh, and I'm not saying I'm not saying nobody can teach lessons that I do. Of course they can. Everybody does it, but no one has 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 directly targeted my style of lesson and targeted what I'm doing as directly um, as this guy has. So I'm just just trying to to you know compete back. So let's do this lesson again. It's E flat octave, and then we we go to B flat and G. Now you have to get your one and five on the E flat octave. And then we'll go three and two on B flat and G. We're going to do that two times. One, two, and then we're going to do the E flat octave again, and then put a B flat in there. Left hand is just going to go one. Okay, so that's get your hand up in between the black keys. All right, so D flat octave, and then B flat, and then F. Let's use two and four in the middle. B flat F. Let's do it two times. One, two, and then the third time we're just going to do that. Left hand's on a B flat octave. So one, two. Notice I'm playing that left hand every time I do a new group. One, ba 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 And then we're going to do Alright, C, and then A flat and F. Left hand on the F octave. One, two. Okay? Oh, I forgot to mention, this middle one happens two times, okay? You do that box two times, so you have... Do it again. And then once. And you go back and do it all over again. That's a really neat little riff that they created. Uh, so that's just kind of a an anniversary lesson from me. Did that one a long time ago. And hope you guys enjoy that. This next one here that we'll do is is Bruno Mars a current song so let's get to that 